happens everyone welcome back to another Katoa Shoujo video and so um <laughs> so yeah uh, I I was I was scrolling through YouTube as a normal human being does and I just stumbled upon a video um, showcasing a uh, Hoshino a Hoshino Ai um, VTuber model from uh, freaking uh, yeah that that's about that that's all so now so now that that's that's why we're here now I just wanted to I just wanted to uh, to ch to try it out and stuff I will leave the the stuff in the description um, about the. Um, the person who made the model and other stuff like that and the download link yeah and also the original video that i found the model on but either way that all that stuff aside i will wait we will start and play um got to a shoujo again i had to i had to play through the entire game again which all i did was just put it on speed and also apparently um i uh on the other one, or on, my, on my original one, I didn't, uh, get this. <laughs> Apparently I didn't get this, which I remember getting it. I don't know why it wasn't, I don't know why it was telling me I didn't have it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. So yeah, so now it's, I'm at 36%, which I'm at 35% on the other one, but it doesn't matter. We will be, re we'll be continuing, uh, Emmy's path. Because that's where we are at. Oh shoot! I I, I clicked start. I didn't mean to click start. <laughs> Hold up. Let's go back. And also, it's been a while since I played it. I forgot how small the freaking screen is. It's so small. Well, this is where we uh, this is where we left off. Hold up. I gotta get in a a comfortable position because um, I'm I need to be in one. And also, so just, I'm just, just gonna, just gonna say this. Um, <laughs> what this morning, whenever I woke up or whatnot, uh, my cat Potato, she was underneath my blanket, but I was also on the corner of my bed, so she was laying there, also on the corner of my bed, underneath my blanket, and she was, you know, my blanket was falling off the bed, <laughs> and so, um. The blanket started falling off the bed, and then my cat started falling off the bed, you know? But, but potato grabbed onto my hand! <laughs> and so, uh, I now have a scratch mark on my hand, because potato scratched it. But, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's just continue. Grabbing my hand, she's off, pulling me along with her. Yep. Um, my goodness, um, but you're in a hurry, um... My, my goodness, but you're in a hurry today, aren't you, Emmy? I have no idea how we got to the nurse's office so fast, but here we are. I forgot what voice I gave this weird guy. I gave him a weird voice, that's... <laughs> the nurse grins at Emmy and and seems to completely ignore me. Um, you've got plenty of time on, uh, time to take a shower and get to class, you know. Uh, there's no need to uh, run through the hallways like that. I can hear you coming a mile away. Somehow, it doesn't seem like he he's actually scolding Emmy at all. It's it's like this is a sort of routine between the two of them. Um, oh, okay. Emmy does a pas a passable invitation of uh, remorse. I'm sorry. I won't do. I won't ever do it again. The nurse and Emmy both laugh at the at the at some private joke. Suddenly, it seems that he noticed me. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, hello, Isao. Uh, what brings you here? Well, I've been. He sounds officially joined me on my morning runs. I started to explain, but Emmy cuts me off. I thought he might need to visit you so that he doesn't die or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse raises his eyebrow in uh, in mock horror. <laughs> uh, yes, that would certainly put me out of a job fast, wouldn't it? 
Oh, well then, Isao, let's have a look at you. Also, so the model has other facial expressions, but I can't really, can't really do them on my phone because I, I don't, I don't think I can. Can I? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to try. I need to try something. Hold up. I no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. I need, I would need to switch to my uh, computer because a lot of it has to do with hotkeying and stuff. I can't really do that on my on my phone. So either way, let's just um let's just continue then. Well then they sell, let's have a look at you. Lift up your shirt, would you? I'm suddenly very conscious of the fact that Emmy Emmy's in the room with me and blushes in spite of myself. The nurse seems to sense my discomfort, but it only seems to amuse him. Okay. A bit shy, are we? He makes an apologetic bow to Emmy. Sorry, Emmy. I tried to get you a free show, but it doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> Emmy stiffens slightly and, and fires a look of annoyance at him. You're an asshole. Emmy bows to me apologetically. I'll wait outside, okay, he Sal? <laughs> I begin to stammer uh, that it's not really a big deal. She, uh, she doesn't have to leave. Well, she's already out the door, and the nurse is laughing as he watches her go. <laughs> um, uh, he still got it, huh? No. No. Um, I don't follow. He laugh- he laughs again. Like he- like he's in on some joke that's over my head. I can s- I can still get her flustered. It's- it's a competition of sorts we've had- we've had going on for a while now. Uh, that sounds incredibly sinister to me, and it seems as if the nurse realizes that too. Er, that sounded a lot worse than it actually is, come to think of it. I, w I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> no, no, you're right. I should fill you. I should fill you in so that you don't uh, that, so that you don't get the wrong idea. I'm actually re uh, re uh, relatively new here, you see? I got hired on the same year Emmy started going here. Before that, I worked with Emmy during her initial rehab following her accident. Hold on, what? <laughs> uh, we had to amputate her uh, legs after a really nasty car wreck and nearly killed her and succeeded. What? I thought- I thought- okay, that, that sounded weird. It sounded- it, it nearly killed her and succeeded. <laughs> it's like, that's why there's a comma there, but if the comma wasn't there, then it, it might, probably was that would have been it nearly killed her and succeeded, and, um, you know, it succeeded in killing her. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, he shuts up abrupt- abruptly. I blink- I blink at receiving this unexpected, uh, piece of news. Oh, well, that's not my place to say. <sighs> okay. Anyway, uh, we've known each other for quite a while. Uh, so we have uh, so we have a slightly more familiar relationship than is strictly professional. He seems embarrassed like he's done something stupid. No, the, the person who made this model, I want to, um, I want to hunt them down. No, 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 no. I want to find them and then maybe, uh, tr uh, uh, think, uh, and then I'll also probably think about doing, uh, the, um, uh, maybe trying to do a commission for them, uh, to create a, uh, future model of mine. Yeah. Um, not my next model, because that one, uh, I already, I'm trying to get that covered. But, like, a future one, you know? Some one in the... Future. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, don't worry, sir, I promise I'm going to be discreet. I had been wondering about what caused Emmy to lose her legs, and that was one of the scenarios I thought of. Uh, there were only so many ways that could have happened, but actually, hearing about the facts is still a little shocking. Well, thanks, you're a good kid, you're a good kid, he said. I bit my tongue. <laughs> I can see why Emmy became friends with you. Uh, she's quite indomitable, you know. What do you mean? Uh, you didn't. Uh, you didn't see her learning to walk. 
uh, uh, you didn't see her learning to walk. Uh, she'd go for so much longer than the others in the hospital, she refused to quit. Normally it takes years to get to a point where you can even think about running again. And we did it in, in all, I uh, did it all in about a year. He almost seems proud of her, like a father who watches his daughter win a, comp a competition or something. Uh, I, I forgot what I was going to say. It's about Emmy, I, I think. Um, huh. Um, hell, she'd probably have done it faster if not for the fact that we wouldn't let her. Uh, wouldn't let her, why not? And because she'd go for so long that her legs would, would start bleeding when they met her prosthetics. <laughs> what? Okay. It's a real concern. It's why she comes by every day after she runs. Ah. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> oh, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> wait, hold up. Why is there there's stars on her head? Why? Wait, why are there stars on her head? Um. Is that a design choice for of uh, the model drawn or something? I don't know what this outfit is. <laughs> this is the. I don't know what type of outfit the this eye is wearing. Um. It, I have, it's been ages since I've seen the first episode, because the first episode is the only episode I ever appears in. <laughs> but, um, the only outfit I remember her, her wearing is the one I drew her in, and I also don't remember the stars being on the head, so, yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, to say nothing of the, of the risk of infection if her legs get cut, cut up and her prosthetics are dirty. But enough about that. If we don't get you on your way soon, Emmy will think uh, we're up to something. As he says this, he gives a wink and begins checking my heartbeat. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was going to say. It's about what happens if I click a wrong choice. Why did I start winking? Right now? Okay, like because I have uh, all I have the list of all the choices I'm supposed to make. You know, what happens if I don't pick? These choices. Huh? 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 Because the first act is the one, is the act that decides who we're going to, uh, which route we're going to take. And then all the other acts just follow up with the, the other routes. But what happens if I pick a wrong choice on a routed act or a routed path or whatnot? I already kind of know of what happens with the Lily one, because the last ever choice you make of Lily, you if you pick the other one, you get a neutral ending. If you pick it, if you pick the other one, you get a uh, a happy ending. But it might it might just be a, the bad ending, because I know there are bad endings for these characters. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess maybe it just uh, puts you in the bad ending. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Whatever. The stethoscope is way too cold. He really should have heated it up or something before he used it, yet they're always cold. It's been ages since I went to the doctor though, so yeah. After a few moments, he leans back satisfied. Let me lean back satisfied. <laughs> well, he sounded pretty good to me, he said. Uh, you didn't have any chest pains while you were running, did, did you? No, not really. I had some trouble catching my breath though, and my heart was racing by the end too. The nurse frowns as I say this, but then shrugs. Ah, ah, shrugs. <laughs> um, it's it's pro it's probably just because you're out of shape. But if you don't improve, then you should let me know, okay? We're gonna become a full fledged athlete at the end of this round. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, don't don't push yourself too much. And of course, if you have any chest pains, come to me immediately. Right. I put my shirt back on. And the nurse leans out of the doorway to call in Emmy. Also, I'm thinking the next video I'm going to make is probably going to be another, um... Uh, another Tomoyo After video. Because I want to continue that game. I'm really enjoying it. And then I also got to buy, uh, Clannad. 
so I can play that one after I finish Tomoyo after. But you know, playing Clan Clan would have been better because uh, if you get the because I'm pretty sure Tomoyo after just picks up right off where the Tomoyo route um, ends. Um, but doesn't matter. Tomoyo after was cheaper than Clanad, so that's why I got it. Uh, so yeah, I put my shirt back on on the day of Yada. What took you so long? Now I'm going to be late. The nurse gives me a significant look. Hmm. <laughs> um, I was just as. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Uh, I, I was just seducing his sound. That's all. That's totally all that I was doing. What? Uh, what? Come on. What well, have I told you about seducing my friend? <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Also, hold up, hold up. I need to, I need to look at this real quick. Hmm. 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 The, the Marco rigging kind of looks familiar, not gonna lie. <laughs> dude, well, hold up. I Is this, is the person who made this, or maybe not did the, the artwork, but did the rigging? Is it? Is it one of is it a rigger of one of Iron Mouse's models? I don't know because I was I I've se I've seen a lot of Iron Mouse and I don't know just looking at this it kind of the movements and other stuff kind of look um kind of look uh, similar to um an I Iron Mouse model um or it could just be another VTuber that I'm imagining but I don't I don't know <laughs> it looks it does look familiar though I don't know who though <laughs> whatever <laughs> that was okay. I'd expected Hemi to be shocked by this, but instead she seems merely annoyed, uh, scolding the nurse as if he were a child stealing cookies. I want cookies, dude. I've had cookies ages. Meanwhile, I try not. I try to. I try hard not to blush at the nurse's uh, innuendo. I'll try not to do it again. No, I fear young Hisao may be uh, may be lost to the female gender forever. Not freaking likely. What? What do you? What? 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 I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> Both of the nurse had, and Emmy regarded me for a moment before bursting into laughter. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, told you, uh, told you he was funny, didn't I? Huh? I guess Emmy does talk to the nurse about a lot of stuff. Well, he's out. Uh, you should probably get moving. Uh, you still need to shower before class starts, don't you? Crap. He's got a point. And it looks like I've only got a uh, got a half hour. Uh, thank. Uh, thanks for your time. I'll see you later, Emmy. I dash out the room as the nurse begins to remove Emmy's prosthetics. As I head down the hallway, I can just barely hear his voice drifting after me. Emmy, you've, you've got to be more careful. I make it back to my room and shower in, in record time. It occurs to me that I've already been up for four hours and class hasn't even started yet. This is going to be really, this is going to be a really, really long day. I hope I don't fall asleep in class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I hope I don't fall asleep in class. <sighs> okay. The morning sunlight streaming through my window wakes me up instead of my alarm, and I realize that it must be Sunday. I mean has kindly a uh, designate uh uh, d d d what? Has kindly deigned de 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 to give me weekends off from morning runs. I don't actually know if I woke up at all yesterday, or if I just slept through the entire day. My legs groan in, in protest as I as I lever myself out of bed. All this running has really taken it out on me. Still, I can't deny that Emmy wasn't lying to me has gotten a little easier. I've been worried that that the runs would start to wear on my nerves. But thus but thus far I haven't I haven't 
minded them that much. Well, it's only been a week. I suppose there's plenty of time for me to start uh, dreading the sound of my alarm in the morning. Not that I could ever skip out now. As Emmy said, it's harder to stop a routine when there's another person. And frankly, I don't think I'm equipped to deal with a disappointed Emmy. She, uh, she'd probably give me those puppy dog eyes and I'd feel terrible about myself. Which reminds me, wasn't I supposed to be somewhere today? Whoa! Hey, you're coming to my track meet on Sunday, right? Oh, uh, what am I talking about? Uh, what am I talking about? Of course you are. Right. Those, those puppy dog eyes again. Of course, I'm going. I owe you, right? Exactly, so don't forget, okay? Wow. Okay, we gotta go to a track meetup. Crap. Emmy's track meetup. Or Emmy's track meet. I'd better get a, I'd better get a move on um, if I don't want to miss her, her running. Since she's the only reason I am even considering going. Otherwise, it would defeat the whole purpose of going. And so, I soon find myself uh, quite suddenly surrounded by a crowd of people. All turning out to see our track team uh, compete with another school like this one. Okay. Um, I'll admit it, it's almost comfortable to know we're not the only school like this. After you see that there can be two, uh, two schools with a bunch of defective kids, well, uh, you stop feeling so defective. You also uh, stop feeling unique, which in most cases would be a bad thing. Um, but in this case, it sure as hell isn't. That's part of Yamaku's appeal, I guess. Uh, learn that you're not unique. Hell, uh, learn uh, learn there's a lot of others who would kill to be saddled uh, with uh, to be saddled with your problem and s instead of whatever they're dealing with. <sighs> okay. Some of the kids here aren't here because they're missing a leg or they have a heart condition. Some of them might be here because they're as good as deaf um, in two, maybe three uh, years if they're lucky. And that's only if they get the right sort of care. It's, it's, a bitter, it's a bitter sort of comfort to be able to say, well, at least I've got a chance of being alive uh, through college, but there, uh, but there it is, you know? We gotta come up in here, you know, and uh, gotta bring Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast cur uh, cures the, the deaf and blind people in this school. Yes. Um, I'm brought out of my rather morbid amusing um, by the appearance of Rin <laughs> near the entrance to the bleachers. You came. Of course, I said I, I said I would, didn't I? That doesn't necessarily imply that you had to follow through. Lots of people say things and don't mean them. Well, I don't. Alright, my face is- ah! My face is itching. Stop it. Uh, Rin shrugs, uh, seemingly bored with our conversation. She turns on her heels and heads back towards the stand. I owe Emmy money now. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Why is that? I didn't think you'd show up. Emmy did, so I owe her 500 yen. You two pet an awful lot, don't you? Another shrug for my armless companion. Yep. Um, it's Rin, all right. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, we enter the bleachers and Rin nods upwards. Up there. I came to see. I came to see if you'd come. For the bet, I presume. For the better, I presume. Uh, Ren leads the way, and soon we've uh, settled down on an almost empty ble a bench. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> There's an older woman sitting next to Ren. Someone's mother, I assume. It's Emmy's mother. I don't know, it looks like Emmy's mother. She looks like Emmy. <laughs> uh, she's got rather long hair done up in a braid. Um, uh, on seeing Rin, she gives an oddly familiar seeming grin. You no, know I'm going to give. 
uh, Emmy's mother, if she is Emmy's mother, a uh, southern accent or something. I, I don't know. Uh, well, this is surprising. <laughs> it's okay. I thought you. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I. <clears throat> <sighs> I thought you- I, I thought you went to get a snack, not a bully! Huh? A snack? I wondered why I was down there. <laughs> the woman laughs again in a way that seems familiar. Where have I seen her before? Well, I suppose you've already- <laughs> Well, I suppose you've already been- <laughs> Well, I suppose you've already been one to go. <laughs> I, I, well, I suppose you've, uh, you've always been one to go out uh, for one thing and bring back another. But I'm being rude. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Mako Iparazaki, Emmy's mother. Pleased to meet you. Um, well, that explains it. Uh, she's like a taller, older, and better <laughs> endowed Emmy. <laughs> Apart from her hair being dark, darker shade than em Emmy's, there's really no mistaking the resemblance. Uh, sorry, I'm Isao, Isao Nakai. And r really, you don't have to apologize for not introducing yourself, Miss Ibarazaki. Um, that's, re uh, that's really Rin's job in this situation, isn't it? Another laugh from Emmy's mother. Ah, take it, you've known- I've, I've taken, you know- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I take it you've known uh, Rin for that long then? It's best not to expect to remember something like that. Uh, she's got she's got other things to think about, I assume. Rin nods, uh, seemingly pleased by this assessment. She's right. I was thinking about sunsets. <laughs> you see, uh, it's really up to us to make to make introductions and and the like. Um, for for lack of better response, I nod. Um, Miss Ibarazaki leans back a little on her seat and raises an eyebrow. So, how long have you have you and Rin been dating? Um. We're not there yet, okay? Stop, stop jumping ahead. That's like, um, that, that's that's in the future, okay? Rin is the last person I'm gonna do on my list, so no, we're not we're not there yet. <laughs> uh, my response uh, consists of silence as my brain suddenly lurches into gear. Um, but just before I can begin to utter a hastily babbled explanation, Emmy's mother bursts into laughter again. Uh, you're a blusher, aren't you? I don't know if there's any way to keep my dignity in this situation, so I settle for a mumbled response. Maybe. So this must be a new uh, romance, then? A uh, mustn't be? Mustn't it? Wait, <laughs> that's not the question, right? Another laugh. I know, but it's funny to watch you squirm. I'm sorry. Um, forgive an old woman. <laughs> Forgive an old woman, um, her amusements. Old woman. <laughs> uh, she sure doesn't look that old to me. Clearly, Emmy gets her youth youthful features from her mother. I suppose I, I can let it go. How kind of you. It's starting. Yo, let me, uh, hide this. Yeah. There's Emmy! She's in the front! Because <laughs> you know she's Emmy! Emmy, 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 of course Emmy's in the front! Why wouldn't Emmy be in the front? Um, uh, yeah, let's- oh wait, hold up, hold up, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna hide my cursor, just for thumbnail reasons, and so my cursor doesn't appear. Because I- I make the mistake of screenshotting my, uh, thumbnails, but I have the cursor on there, so the cursor's just there in my thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it looks like the 40 meter dash. My eyes scan the runners before finding Emmy. 
She's smiling with an almost cocky look on her face. Oh, that person had no arm, okay. Okay, another another uh, potential thumbnail. Wait, it's her. Isn't she the girl in the class? In, in, in my class? Uh, okay. Let me let me let me see. Um. Huh. Yeah, no. There's only uh, Emmy and her. I don't see anything wrong with these other people, but there's definitely something wrong. But whatever. Emmy uh, explodes off the block, disappearing before the starting line in a blur. It's amazing. Even even as the other sprinters converge on the lane closest to the inside line, Emmy surges to the front of the pack. Cause Emmy's cheating. She has freaking uh, robot legs, bro. <laughs> Turbo boosters. <laughs> um, uh, their efforts come to naught, though, since a final burst of speed from Emmy leaves them um, leaves them at least a half second behind. Damn, bro, there's so many. There's so many here. <laughs> what's, up with the, what's up with the goofy, uh, the goofy landing and walk and running and stuff? There you go. Miss Iburozaki, uh, whoops and shouts, applauding wildly and generally looking like any other parent cheering for their child. Emmy bounds off the track, uh, looking pleased with herself. I cheer right along with the rest of them. The announcer, sounding suspiciously like Misha, gleefully gives the results. <laughs> Not Misha! I think she's gotten faster since last time. That was incredible! Miss Iborozaki grins proudly. And he's a heck of a runner! Uh, we fall silent as the next event uh, is being prepared. I'm surprised to see Emmy striding out onto the track again. Wait, uh, didn't she just run? It's so, like we haven't met, uh, we didn't meet, uh, freaking, uh, Lily's mom. Well, we kind of did. We spoke to her on the phone, like, once, and that's about it. Um, we, um, but yeah, we haven't really met her, but we, we've already met uh, Emmy's mom before we even started doing stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Emmy's mother nods. Uh, yes, but she's uh, but she runs multiple events for the team, especially the sprints. It's a lot of running, but Emmy can handle. Um, but Emmy can handle it. Um, from the looks of things, she's right. Emmy doesn't appear to be tired. Um, as if she hadn't run the previous event at all. If not for the sweat visible on her shirt, you never know. Which event is this? It's a 200 meter dash. Uh, uh, she'll do this one. Uh, she'll do this one. Uh, the 100 meter and the re and relay. Uh, I see. Once again, the pistol sounds, and once again, Emmy flies off the block. A thumping sound that draws my attention away from the race. It's Rin's foot. She seems completely absorbed in the race. Emmy's mother uh, cheers again, and I assume that the race is over. <laughs> sprints, do uh, sprints don't seem uh, to me like they take very long to complete. Uh, your foot. Hmm? Your foot is bouncing on the bleachers. Oh. Uh, you seem pretty into this stuff. I'm surprised. Ah, 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 itching. I'm itching. Uh, Rin looks at me quizzically. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, no reason, I just thought stuff like sports wouldn't interest you. Hmm, I suppose you're right. It's not that interesting. But I'm watching Emmy, not the sport. I don't follow. Emmy's the most... Emmy when she runs. <laughs> uh, you don't get to see Emmy at her Emmyest very often. But here, you can see. Or you can, see? She directs my attention towards the track again, uh, where the 100 meter dash is about to start. I watch Emmy closely, and and she uh, gets onto the starter block. Um, her whole body's okay. Her whole body uh, seems to relax, but it's a false relaxation. I can uh, see that she's actually like a coiled spring. 
As the starter tells everyone to get set, her head snaps up and her eyes narrow slightly. Her mouth curls upwards in what could be a grin and could be a growl. Uh, when the pistol goes off, it's as if, uh, it's as if she's been unleashed from a cage like she was always moving at this blinding speed. Um, but, um, but we couldn't see, uh, but we couldn't see it happening until the starter pistol dispels the illusion of motionlessness. It's all over in a few seconds, but in those few seconds, I feel like I'm, I'm just, I just witnessed something very personal for Emmy. As soon as she crosses the finish line, the fierce look was replaced by her normal grin. The conquering general uh, returns to his farm. Amazing! She's really amazing. I've never seen anyone move that fast. Well, don't look at me. I'm far too relaxed to run that fast. No, I think Emmy's prowess all came from her father's side. <laughs> Fuck you, I. Um, at the mention of Emmy's father, Miss Ibarazaki looks wistful, almost sad. Uh, he's got her into Ronnie, you know? Yeah, she told me. I'm uncertain as to whether or not it would be rude of me to ask after Emmy, um, to ask after Emmy's father. Um, but after that look on her face a few days ago, I feel compelled to ask. Where is her father now, if I might ask? Emmy's mother hesitates, clearly not willing to answer the question, uh, to answer the question, but at the same time, uh, not wishing to appeal, uh, to appear rude. He's, or he isn't around anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. Emmy just seems a little sad when she mentioned him earlier. That's not surprising, considering hmm? they were very close. I see. A beeping noise suddenly emanates from Miss Iborozaki's pocket. Reaching into it, she pulls out a cell phone and looks at it. Uh, honestly, text messages. What is he, 16? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I've got to go, I've got to go meet up with a friend of mine. Oh, uh, really? Tell Emmy I'm very proud of her, and that I'll call her later, later tonight. Ah? <laughs> of course. Damn, bro, that's kind of sad. <laughs> um, I'll I'll admit that I zoned out for a while. I almost didn't notice that the relay about uh the relay is about to begin, but when I look, I can't find Emmy. I thought that Emmy would be running the relay. She, she runs Anchor, uh, so she won't be running for a while yet. Ah! Did you see it? Huh? Emmy at her Emmyist? <laughs> Dude, shut up! Maybe? Hmm, maybe this time. The race begins and I cheer, uh, and, uh, I cheer Emmy's teammates along as they pass the baton. Finally, I see Emmy sprinting onto the track to take the for final handoff. Once again, I'm taken aback by how graceful she looks when she's running. It really is beautiful. The look of determination and fearlessness on her face only adds to the picture. Emmy at her Emmyist, I suppose. This is a new one. Okay, I'll hide this one. Yep. Uh, this one's a uh, you know, different art style. But then as she crosses the finish line, I see her stumble slightly. It's only barely, but it's definitely a stumble. <laughs> Rin inhales sharply and actually looks concerned for a second. Aw, oh, Emmy. Did she, hurt, did she hurt herself, do you think? You notice it too? It must be bad. She frowns as I as I decide as if deciding on the next course of action. Eventually. Eventually, uh, that proves to be too tiresome and she shrugs again. Well, let's go down. Uh gotta crown the victor. Uh, see if you can find the laurel branch. Uh, that's not going to be easy. Rin shrugs. At least we tried. 
Uh, well, we didn't really try all, all that hard. Or at all. But hey, whatever. Emmy is surrounded by her teammates, all of them congratulating her on the run. Uh, Rin seems to be waiting for Emmy to notice that she's arrived. Oh yeah, I guess she can't exactly wave Emmy over. <laughs> oh no. And again, I'm not sure that Rin would do such a thing, even if she had arms. Doesn't seem her style to draw attention to herself, or to mope beyond shrugging. Either way, I'm not willing to wait. So I wave to Emmy, who looks up and grins happily at me. Er, us. Hey, you showed up! G guess Rin owes me money, huh? Uh, we have brought you a crown of laurels. But he sound didn't find one. Hey, neither did you. It wasn't my job to look. That was what? Hold up. What did that say? Uh, when did we assign jobs? Uh, when I said, see if you can find a laurel branch. Uh, try to keep up. I shrug. Guess Rin's rubbing off on me. Uh, seems it's all. It's all. Uh, seems it's my fault after all, Emmy. Emmy laughs at Rin and me. It's okay. I'm sure you'll make it up. Uh, make it up to me somehow. Uh, sure. Good. So how'd I look? I stop myself from blurting out beautiful or amazing, and settle for the substantially sad, uh, safer, very impressive. M seems pleased with this ass assessment. I don't mention how much more impressive her performance is, given her lack of legs, I figure she knows that already. Besides, it seems like it would take away from her efforts, somehow. Great to hear. I was I was worried that I look a little slow on the relay, but I guess I did. F I I guess I did fine, huh? Actually, I noticed a ring kicks me and keeps me from finishing my sentence. Uh, what was that? What was that all about? He noticed it at the end. Hmm. That's no good. Guess the nurse will look a uh, look uh, look at it for me later. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, there's a carelessness in her voice, as if it's as if it isn't a big deal. But I suddenly notice a slight twitch on her face. Oh, that was that. Like she's trying to hide the fact that she's in pain. It's then that I notice her breathing is a little shallow too. I guess she really is hurt. She must uh, notice my concern because she skipped up. Uh, she skips up to me and gives me a friendly pat on the shoulder. Hey, you look a little worried. I'm fine, really. Just sore, uh, uh, just sore from all the running is all. And come on, a little pain isn't going to stop me. Oh no. Oh no? Uh, Emmy grins, um, and for a moment she looks like she did during her sprint. Fierce and unconquerable. Uh, or to put it another way, really beautiful. Hasn't yet. Well then, I guess I shouldn't worry, huh? Damn right, I'm Emmy Iborozaki, fastest thing on no legs. I don't stop to f I don't stop for anything. That's it. Emmy giggles and then uh seems to remember something. Oh, before I forgot, Rin and I are going to do something next Sunday as a post-track meet celebration. You should come along. Normally we do it uh, the day after, but since the track meet was on a Sunday, I've got homework and class and all that stuff to take care of. Plus, our morning run, of course. Right, of course. Oh, oh right, your mom wanted uh, to say she's proud of you. Uh, she'll call you later tonight. I thought, I thought I saw her in the stands. I'm glad she made it. I uh, used to be uh, my dad who showed up to my meets, but mom's done a pretty good job of taking over. Uh, she shivers slightly and I realize that she's uh, still all sweaty. A breeze has started to blow too. I'm not cold at all, but I've got um, and I've got my and I've got my jacket with me. So without a word, I throw it around her shoulders. Emmy jumps slightly and then grins at me. Hey, thanks. It's getting a little cold, I guess. 
Uh, yeah. Looks like, looked like it. Just then begin to uh, wonder whether or not to give Emmy my jacket. Um, uh, could be taken the wrong way. A boy in a tracks uniform approaches. Hey Emmy, you're going to miss the, uh, the medal ceremony. Oh yeah, thanks. She turns to Ren and myself. Uh, you don't have to stick around for this part. It takes forever. Besides, you should get cracking on your homework now if you don't want to be up late, he sound. Morning run to morning run tomorrow. Don't forget. How could I? Uh, good point. I mean, it's spending time with me after all. Um, with this, she waves quickly and dashes off to receive her medal, or whatever they pass off as a medal these days. Rin and I uh, head away from the track. Rin remains deep in whatever thought she ha uh, she has for most of the walk back to her dorm. As I see her off, she speaks up. You're probably not going to like- uh, You're probably not getting that coat back, I think. I'm sure I'll get it back eventually. Interesting. Take it as it comes, huh? Very Emmy-ish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With an odd statement, she turns and heads into the building. Honestly, was it that big a deal? Emmy uh, was cold, and unless I've mi unless I'm mistaken, in pain. Uh, giving her a solution to at least one of those problems seems like an obvious reaction. Though I guess there is a chance I could lose my jacket if Emmy never remembers to return it. I guess Rin has a point. Still, I can't bring myself to muster much worry over the whole thing. After all, it's been getting warm lately. I don't need a jacket. Odd, I think I used to be a little more responsible with my stuff. Emmyish, huh? Maybe that's not really a bad thing. Yeah, maybe that's not really a bad thing, you know? <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let, me, let, me, let me let me save. Let me save right there. Continue. And guys, I'm going to end uh, today's video. Uh, let me go to my library. I'm 37. I I'm, I I went up one percent. I got I got these new CGs right here. Look at all. Look at these. I got these right here. But yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video of Katawa Shoujo. Um, uh, like I said, next video will probably be um a uh, Tomoyo after video. I just gotta re-download it on this computer. And then I also gotta um, uh, continue Corpse Party, so I'm just gonna be making uh, videos... Like, all the next couple of videos are gonna be videos of uh, games that I'm coming back to, such as... You know, Katawa Shoujo, I'm gonna play some Tomoyo after, I'm gonna go to Corpse Party, and um, maybe Persona 4? Maybe? I did a Persona 4 live stream. That one was kind of... Eh... It was kind of... Eh... But whatever, <laughs> it was really scuffed. But yeah, and also, um, there's also another video that might happen on the 11th. I think I don't know, De uh, depending on um, how go what what goes down. But there might be a video on the 11th. Yes. Well, maybe not the 11th, but the because the 11th is on a Sunday. Maybe the Tuesday after 11th, so the 13th. 13th. There might be a video on that day of of something. But either way, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video of Katawa Shoujo. And I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye-bye.